Hey guys, welcome to the License Squad channel. My name is Griff, and today we have a reasonable gameplay on uh, Modern Warfare 3 using the Silenced AK 47. Uh, as I said in the previous video, I just got a bit fed up with the lag on, on Black Ops 2, um, so I thought, you know what, let's go back uh, while we wait for Call of Duty Ghosts, which uh, is what this commentary is going to be about. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you guys haven't seen, Infinity Ward did its big reveal in, is it Los Angeles or New York? I think it's LA. But, uh, yeah, so it was the, the multiplayer side of things this time. And the biggest change, and I think the best change, or potentially the best change, um, I mean, they could implement it wrong and it'll be shit, but we'll find out, uh, is a... It's kind of an extension of the the Black Ops 2 point system. So in, in Black Ops 1, uh, Black Ops 2, sorry, you have uh, 10 points that you can spend on stuff, and how you spend that is kind of largely up to you. In um, Call of Duty Ghosts, it seems as if they've kind of increased the points, and now there are loads and loads of perks. And d depending on the perk, uh, the point level will vary. So in theory, you could have I don't know, say five two point perks or two five point perks or three threes and so lots of different variations. Um, so I'm guessing that the better perks will you know have higher point scores. So there's there's always gonna be compromise, you probably won't be able to have all the cream of the crop. But it means you can be slightly more specific uh, and match your your uh, perks to your playstyle. Uh, which which is kinda good and and hopefully the balance will be good and there'll be lots of lots of variations so you won't just have to wear flat jacket all the time you won't end up using ghosts all the time so that's that's pretty cool uh, I've seen a couple of videos that suggest one of them might be invisibility uh, I'm not entirely sure if <laughs> these are just glitches or something because as, as amazing as it is last stand is gone and a few other newbie perks being able to go invisible is a bit, probably a bit OP to be fair, um, but very cool, I guess. I mean, if it's difficult to get to that point, then maybe it's not so bad. But anyway, I could just be speculation. Other issues people have picked up is the size of the C4 blast, and as we all know, C4s are not necessarily overpowered because they're not the easiest to use on certain game maps. I mean, if you know where people are going to spawn, you lob one, then that's fine. Um, and obviously, you don't throw it that quickly. But the only thing that can really counter it is flat jacket. So if you're not wearing flat jacket and you're in the blast radius, it's goodbye. So if C4 and noob tubes are or look as are as powerful as they look in some of the gameplay I've seen, then that could suck. But I mean that's that's an easy change and if it's OP to start with and um, people abuse it, then the next patch is probably have it now. So you know you just like any game, you adapt. There's going to be stuff that's better than others, uh, but hopefully there's enough variation to, you know, make things interesting. Uh, it's quite cool that you can you can be a female, you can customise your the look of your character. Uh, the graphics do look fantastic. Things are more fluid now as well. So when you climb a window, you can still shoot, but it's um, obviously you can't scope in. So it's hit fire. And that's the one we're looking for. Going into a slide, jumping over objects, it's all just a little bit more fluid, a little bit smoother. Um, so it kind of feels like Call of Duty's come of age a bit. So that and the deeper customization looks really cool. Uh, a few new game modes. Uh, I haven't actually looked massively into this, but I've seen one of them is, I think it's a variation on Team Deathmatch. Uh, and if you kill someone, you get 30 seconds to kill another person or you blow up. So it's kind of the worst game ever. You feel the, the camping sad time. So that looks pretty sweet. Um, there's new clan stuff. There's more use of the, the mobile app. So that's pretty cool. And there's another game that I can't think of off the top of my head. I, I think the best way to describe it is just a lot deeper. So it should be awesome. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it actually. I wasn't to start with, you know, you, as I've said before in another video, it's difficult with these games because you, you don't want the apple to fall too far from the tree because, um, you know, when's Call of Duty not Call of Duty? And 
you know, there are bits I hate in this game, but it's mainly because I have a shitty Virgin Media connection that seems to traffic manage the shit out of me. But, you know, before that, and, you know, I love the game. There are a couple of things that are annoying and, and try out that kind of lag comments a bit lame. But, you know, ultimately it's a game I keep coming back to. I keep enjoying, I have fun. It's one you can jump in and out of. I mean, gone are the days of having enough time to put 100 hours in, you know, Final Fantasy VII or God knows what else I did when I was younger. So, you know, COD definitely has its place. The new one looks fantastic. I'm also glad it's Infinity Ward's turn. I much prefer Infinity Ward um, to Treyarch. I know technically you said the same thing, but then the games definitely are. And yeah, the, the guns, the snipers, the sound effects, the map design. I just think Infinity Ward has the edge. Uh, so I'm hoping for some big, big open maps. And I've said before many times, I love that style map. Kind of more like Halo, I guess. So fingers crossed. Anyway. Guys, apologies this wasn't the highest calibre video, as I said before I've been battling with stupid lags, I'm gonna probably swap to Sky or BT or something. Because you know I wanna be ready for ready for ghosts and laggy shit and it makes things really lame. And there's only so much trolls that I can play. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like, subscribe, send me money in the post. I'm uh, just kidding about the last one. By all means, do. Because it would be awesome. And the more support I get, the more likely I am to keep making videos and up my game a bit. Because at the moment it's kind of it's kind of an experiment to see whether you know whether I enjoy it or not. Because it's kind of weird to myself sell and a microphone. But uh, you know, at some point we'll hopefully get some guests on, play some different games, and, and start doing some more stupid stuff. I, I really enjoy the kind of hey we are speedy type videos. So maybe maybe do like an English take on that. Um, because we've got all the equipment, it's just uh, making the time, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. But anyway, all the best, bye.